Hello everyone, welcome to another matrices tutorial. In this lesson, I'm going to explain to you guys where the inverse formula for a matrix comes from. So to do this tutorial, hopefully you guys have already learned what an inverse of a matrix is used for. And basically it is used for, um, if you have a matrix A, and you multiply by its inverse you will get the identity matrix okay so we know that matrix A um, usually we will already have matrix A but let's say matrix A is made up of the elements A, B, C, D and we want to find the inverse of it alright so a times its inverse is equal to the identity matrix which is 1 1 0 0 okay and we didn't know what the inverse of it is so um, previously I've just shown you guys to use this formula but now I want to explain to you guys where that formula comes from so what I'm going to do is um, because I don't know what a inverse is at the moment I'm just gonna substitute in um, four other letters so let's just put in EFGH okay and that is equal to 1100 okay um, so now let's use our um, matrix multiplication techniques so if we do um, the first row in the first matrix multiply by the first column in the second matrix then I will get the answer in the position first row first column so it's A times E plus B times G is equal to 1 and then similarly I will do all the other combinations first row second column is equal to 0 so AF plus BH is equal to 0 um, another one uh, CD times EG is equal to 0 CE plus DG what am I talking about is equal to 0 and then I have second row second column is equal to 1 so CF plus DH is equal to 1 okay so I have written out all of this and now I just want to find out what EGFH is equal to using the four simultaneous equations so we have four equations here right now let's call this equation 1 equation 2 equation 3 equation 4 and if you have a look at our equation 1 and equation 3 they both have E and G in them Okay, so I'm going to start off with these two equations. All right, eventually I'm going to um, simplify them down so that I have a definition for both for each of the EFGH. So equation one, I'm going to multiply that whole equation by C on both sides. Okay, you'll see why I'm doing it soon. So then I will end up with ACE plus BCG is equal to C right because I've multiplied by C on each term in the whole equation and then I'm going to get equation 3 okay and I'm going to multiply by A on both sides Okay, so multiply CE by A, I will get ACE plus ADG is equal to 0 times A is still 0. 
and using the process of elimination as you probably have learned already solving simultaneous equations if I get this equation here minus this equation here so 1 times C minus 3 times A and that will give me um, so the left hand side minus the left hand side the ace is therefore gone so I have BCG minus ADG is equal to C now in this equation as you can see from our previous um, definition of the inverse G is the variable that we're trying to find and A B C D we already have this information from matrix A so what we would do is we rearrange this to make G the subject so bracket B C minus A D bracket times G is equal to C because we factor out the common factor which is G in both of these terms so now I have G is equal to C divided by BC minus AD G is equal to C divided by BC minus AD and you will see that this is getting pretty close to our formula here at the front where we have AD minus BC down the bottom so in order to get that what I'm gonna do is multiply both the top and the bottom of this fraction by negative 1 and then I will get G is equal to negative C bracket um, AD minus BC right because BC times negative 1 is negative BC AD negative AD times negative 1 is positive AD so then I get this equation G is equal to negative C over AD minus BC okay now I'm going to continue in a similar method to find out what um, all the other variables are so let's find variable H so I'm just gonna show you how to find H and then you guys can find out E and F yourselves but basically I pick the two equations that have variable H in it okay which is um, th 2 and 4 so I have equation 2 is AF minus B AF plus BH equals 0 and then I have equation 4 which is CF plus DH equals 1 and now to eliminate the variables at the front I'm going to multiply equation 2 by C so that'll give me ACF plus BCH equals 0 and I'm going to multiply equation 4 by A so that'll give me ACF plus ADH is equal to A okay and then I'm going to go 2C equation 2 times C uh, minus equation 4 times A so then I will get um, ACF and ACF cancel each other out so I have BCH minus ADH equals negative A and then I'm going to rearrange it to make H the subject so I factorize it out BC minus AD times H equals negative A factorizing it and then I rearrange it to make H the subject so negative A equals uh, BC minus AD and I'm going to multiply both the top and the bottom by negative 1 as I did before 
Okay, uh, and then I will get H equals A over um, AD minus BC. Okay, so continuing this fashion, you will end up with the four formulas for each of the unknown variables. So I've already found G and H, and basically you're going to find that E is equal to, right, E is going to be equal to D over AD minus BC, and then F is going to be equal to negative B over um, AD minus BC. Okay, if you solve the other two simultaneous equations. And then what we're going to do is summarize all that information. So EFGH is equal to D over AD minus BC um, negative B over AD minus BC and then the two that I have found which is G is equal to negative C over AD minus BC negative C over AD minus BC and then H is equal to A over AD minus BC so you will see that all of these four elements have divided by AD minus BC so I'm gonna take that out and put it at the front as a constant and then I will end up with the formula D minus B minus C A which is the same as our inverse formula which I have stated to you guys previously okay it's the same thing Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.